Today I'm going to show you how to make this elastic tank dress. It's so easy. It's literally two rectangles sewn together and a few extra steps. You can make this for yourself and your mini me and I'm going to show you how to do that now. There's a few things you should know before we get started. The first one is I made a mama and mini version. They're the same steps except for the mini version. I didn't do a slit on the side so I just skipped that part. And then before you get started, you're gonna need a few measurements before you buy your fabric. And the third thing is when you're choosing your fabric, I would go for a fabric that is light in the weight and has a nice drape to it. I think this dress would look great in a print. I made it in this blue linen look. I got it from Joanne Fabrics and I'll link it below. I have a video that I'll link here about shopping for fabric that you can use if you don't know where to start with buying fabric. You're gonna want a few measurements. The first this one is where your chest is and where you want the dress to start. You're going to measure around the bust and then write this measurement down. And then you're also going to measure from the same spot down to where you want the dress to end and this is the length. You're going to do a little bit of math and you're going to multiply the bust size by three and this is going to make sure you're going to get enough fabric to have that nice elastic drape that we're going to add later. And then for the length, you're going to add six inches so that we can fold over the top to add that elastic. And then to measure how long you want your straps to be, I would start where your first measurement was. And I just draped the measuring tape over my shoulder. And then I put my finger where the tape landed and where I thought I wanted the dress to land in the back. And then I just held that in place. And for me, I made 16 inch straps. And you can make these shorter or longer depending on what works for you. So now that you have your measurements down, you have your bust size, and this is going to be multiplied by three. And then this is going to give you the amount of fabric that you need. So then you wanna divide that by the yards that you'll need. So I ended up buying four yards for both me and my daughter, and that was plenty. And another note is for the bolt size. So the way that you're measuring is, is the selvage edge is going to be parallel to the length, and the width will be perpendicular to the selvage edge. So the width is how many yards you want, and the selvage edge will already determine the length of the dress. So if you're buying a fabric and you want a long dress, say like around 50, you wanna make sure your bolt size is adequate enough for the length that you're looking for. Make sure you write down your bust size for the elastic when you cut that later. Now you're going to take your largest measurement. This is the, this is the width of your entire bust times three and then divide it in half. This is going to give you the measurement for each rectangle. Then you're gonna take this measurement and cut two large rectangles, that, which will measure the length that you chose and the width that we just found. So you have your two large rectangles and the next part is you're going to determine where you want your slit to start. And then you're going to mark this with a pin. And then you're going to sew along the side seams all the way down to the pin mark and stop. And do this on both side seams. And then you can follow up with a serger, zigzag shears, or a zigzag stitch to make sure your dress doesn't fray. So after you sew the sides, you have the slit open, and what you're going to do is make a little snip right above where the stitch stops. This is going to allow you to fold the hem over, and what you're going to do is take your iron, iron it down, and then fold it over once again. Then you're going to start at the hem and sew all along here, finish at the other hem. Now you're going to sew the casing for the elastic. So you're going to fold over the top of the dress three and a half inches and iron this all the way around. The first part of the top is going to be excess and this will just create that nice ruffle. And you're going to sew all the way around the top of the dress at one and a half inches. And then you're gonna sew all the way around at a quarter of an inch or half an inch depending on the size of your elastic. Before you finish this off, you want to make sure that you leave two inches open so that you can insert your elastic later. Next, you're going to measure one and a half inches apart from the seam you just sewed, and then you're going to go all the way around. This time, you're also going to leave that two inch opening that's right below the previous two inch opening. And then you're going to repeat this process at the width of 
the elastic that you've chosen and do the same thing leaving the two inch opening. The length of your elastic, you want the exact length of your bust. You can make this tighter or looser. I chose to do the exact same width, not adding it too tight because I didn't want it to be too tight on me since this has straps. I have this two inch opening and I'm going to add a safety pin to the end of my elastic and a safety pin to the opposite end. I'm going to attach it to the dress. And then you take your safety pin and maneuver it through those openings that you left there. And then you're going to maneuver it through the rest of the dress. So this part can be a little bit tricky because you're working with a ton of fabric. It just takes a little bit of patience and make sure you're holding on to the safety pin and bunching up the elastic and pulling it tight as often as possible. So when you reach the opposite end, you're going to overlap the elastic and sew this in place and then sew this opening closed. I'm going to do the same thing for the next casing for the elastic. So at this point, your dress is looking almost complete and you want to add the straps. So to add the straps, you take that strap measurement that you made earlier and what I did was I cut a two inch by 16 inch piece of fabric, folded over one end and ironed it down and then folded it in thirds. And this made the strap and I sewed along the side. And then I attached it to the dress using a regular stitch and making sure I was going back and forth a few times to make sure it was in place. And then the final step is you just need to hem the bottom of your dress. What I did was I surged around the entire bottom of the dress and then I folded the hem up one inch, ironed it in place, and sewed all the way around. These dresses come together so quickly and I love how easy they are and how versatile it is for the beginner. I hope you enjoy making this dress. It's so simple and I love just wearing it in the summer because it's so breezy. If you end up making it, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to share it. And if you have any questions, just let me know below. I'll see you next week with a new video.